Did you get him a clock once? You got it. Did you get him a clock once? All right, put the phone books up. Get the piece of paper I handed you earlier. You need nothing but the two pieces of paper I handed you out earlier and then put the phone books up. You ain't gonna need it. Not gonna need it. So put them up like so I can't see the ball. Alright, so for the last couple of days, we've been talking about and doing problems on multiplying and dividing in scientific notation. Alright, so first we're going to do a quick review over this, just so I'm going to by the memory, see everybody still understand, or see if somebody got any questions. So basically, uh... Alright, so in multiplying scientific notation, you know that you got to multiply the base numbers, you got to add the exponents, and then leave it in scientific notation. And then dividing, you got to do the opposite. You got to divide the base numbers, you got to uh, subtract the exponents, and then leave it in scientific notation. All right, so number one, what would be the, uh, the two base numbers for number one, Michaela? 8.62 and 8.2. All right, so we got to divide those two numbers. 8.62 divided by 3.2. What would we get? Anybody? What would we get? 2. 2. Point what? Alright, so for the exponents, you say when we divide them, we got to subtract the exponents. What's the two exponents of, um, for number one? Go ahead again, Kevin. No, I'm saying what's the two exponents, not the answer. What's the two exponents? Uh, Alright, so we got to subtract 5 minus 7, and we got to get an answer. What would that be? Negative 2. Alright, so we just write it. Let's see. 2.69375 times 10 to the negative 2. All right, everybody should get that, have that on your paper. Everybody should have that on your paper. All right, for number two, what are our two base numbers for number two? Jordan, go ahead. Alright, so this is multiplication. So we gotta multiply the base numbers. Well, what, what answer will we get, Jordan? If we multiply those two numbers, what will we get? Exponents for number two? Six and nine. Nope, not six and nine. Six and nine. nine. Alright, so we gotta add six plus negative nine. What will we get? Negative three. Good. Alright, so this is what you're getting for number two. 7.7164 turns into the negative third. Number three, what's the two base numbers? Two base numbers. 8.86. And? Um, 2.5. Alright, so we gotta divide those two. 8.86 divided by 2.5. What will we get? 3.544. 3. 3.544. Mm -hmm. Alright, two uh, exponents, we'll have to subtract them. So what's the, what's the exponents? 4 and 7. Alright, so what's 4 minus 7? Negative 3. Negative 3. Alright, so this answer you'll get. Down for room for number three. 3.544 times 10 to the negative third. Alright, number four. Last one. This one was multiplication again. What's the two base numbers? Somebody I haven't heard yet. Somebody I haven't heard yet. 
Okay. 7.903 uh, and 9.735. Alright, so we gotta multiply those two. What will it get when we multiply those two? 73.93. 5. All right, uh, exponents. What are the exponents? And what are we doing with them? 4 and 5. What are, we, are we adding or subtracting? 4 and 5 would be 9. All right, we're adding them. Adding 4 and 5, which is 9. All right. Anybody got any questions? Everybody, anybody need to go back up and see another one? Everybody good? All right, so flip over to the other paper, paper I gave you. Flip over to the other paper I gave you. All right, so basically, it's about to be the same concept, but we're going to take it a step further. All right, we're going to take it on some of them. We're going to have to take it a step further. All right, so up here, uh, up here it says, um, basically, we're doing the same thing, but if your answer is greater than 10, you're going to have to move the decimal to the left and add to your exponent. All right, and if your answer is less than 1, you're going to move your decimal to the right. And subtract for the exponent. So basically, like I said, you're gonna do the same thing, same thing you did on, on these right here, same thing you did. But at the end, once you get this final answer, if it's less, if it's less than um, one or greater than ten, you have to do a second step. You have to do a second step, which will it'll just come in play. All the adding to your exponent and moving your decimal to the left, or moving your decimal to the right and subtracting for your exponent. That's when that comes into play. All right. So am I confused so far? It might be a little confused right now, but it makes sense when we, once we do a couple. All right, so number one. Number one, say five over nine times 10 uh, squared uh, divided by two times 10 to the fifth. All right, so we're basically doing the same thing like we just did on the other one, division. So what's the two base numbers for number one? 5.9 and two. 5.9 and two, okay, what will it get once you divide those two? 2.95. Say it again, I'm sorry. 2.95. 2.95. All right. Exponents. Now we gotta what we gotta do to our exponents. Do we add or do we subtract? Subtract. Alright, well, so what's uh what are our two exponents right here? Two minus five. So what's two minus five? Um negative three. <laughs> say, who said that? What you say? All right, David, pretty up, y'all. I think I can bet with you. All right, so that was sweet number one. All right, so moving back up. So we got 2.95 times 10 to the negative three. So is our answer greater than 10? No. Is our answer less than one? Yes. No. Correct, it's not, it's not less than one. All right, so for this one, we just move on. We're, we're fine. It's just, it's just like the last one we did. We don't have to do anything extra. We just leave it like it is. What about number two? What about number two? What are the two base numbers for number two? Not number seven, number two. 3.852 and 3.56. Alright, what would you get? Let me answer that. What would you get? 16.0512. Say 16? 16.0512. 16.0. Everybody agree with that? Everybody agree with that? Are you multiplying or dividing? Multiplying. Supposed to look. This is division. It's the same one as that one. I got 0 0.771. There we go. 2982. Say it again. 0. Stop after three because at the top it says to the thousandths place. 717. The one no, with the seven, 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 all right, so let's move back up. Back 
up. So is our answer greater than 10? No. Is our answer less than 1? Yes. All right, so what we have to do is our answer less than 1? Move your decimal to the right and subtract from your exponent. All right, so we move to the right. To the right, one, to be a subtract. So what's, what's negative two minus one? Negative, negative one. three. What's negative two minus one? Negative one. So what's negative two minus one? One. So what's negative two minus negative one? Five. Negative one. So put it in the calculator. Negative three. Thank you. Negative three. Oh, what? Put negative two minus one in the calculator. So you'll get 7.71 times 10. Oh, yeah. Negative three. Number, uh, number two. Yeah. Negative three. 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 Negative all right, so we do all uh, dividing or we multiply? Multiply. Multiply. All right, so what's seven times seven point seven one? I mean, seven point one one. I'm sorry. Seven times seven point one one. Take it out the door. Or take it out the door. Let me get smaller. Can you make it smaller this time? Um. No matter, don't worry about it. Go up there and press view. They, that's they good. They got paper. I'm sorry. Okay. They got paper. All right. So for uh, take it out the door. Pick two problems. Any two problems you want out of seven in the bed. That's two. Any two problems out of seven in the bed. Two problems out of seven, seven and eleven, and then turn them into me. Any two problems? Any two problems? Thank you. 